The Indian Navy that's already grappling with the losses of INS Sindhu Rakshak and INS Sindhu Ratna in a year's time faces another major setback. Its only ray of hope, Project 75, that involves construction of six Scorpion submarines, is on the verge of being hit. An exclusive report by Jugal Purohit. One year, two submarine tragedies. Explosion followed by sinking of INS Sindhu Rakshak the Navy's biggest peacetime loss. Close on the heels, another disaster with a fire on board INS Sindhu Ratna killing two officers and claiming the head of Chief of Naval Staff. Big blows to Navy's submarine arsenal at a time when adversaries are rapidly expanding their subsurface capability. Apart from the Russian Aculas class submarine on loan and the under trial Arihan, the Navy operates an ever-aging and depleting fleet of conventional diesel-electric submarine. Worse, the Navy's only ray of hope, Project 75, involving the construction of six Scorpion submarines, is on the verge of being hit. The underwater arm continues to be a spot of bother for the Indian Navy, having allowed the technical know-how of manufacturing submarines in-house to wither away the Navy and the nation are both paying the price for relying on a foreign vendor, this time around the French firm DCNS, whose inaction is now assuming threatening proportions. Being built by the Mumbai-based Mazagon Dock Limited, under a transfer of technology contract with French firm DCNS, the shipyard has readied the six hulls of the boat. However, Critical spares which impact all sections of the first boat and were agreed upon for delivery way back in November 2012 are yet to come. As a result, the shipyard says it has been forced to absorb delays, even indulge in repetitive work. There have been uh, some uh, uh, reasons because of which the program has got uh, delayed and uh, this was mainly on account of certain materials which we are not able to order earlier. The last lot of uh, material, which is called uh, MPM, Mesogon Procurement Material, was ordered by us uh, end of 2012. And thereafter, the deliveries of those materials have started materializing. There are still some of them are yet to uh, come up to us. So all the hull of six boats have been completed. The outfitting of the first boat is now going on utilizing the material which has now come to us. Many items have come after we order, many have also not come. Uh, their contractual delivery in many cases have also uh, expired. And uh, we, along with the MOD and Navy, are putting all pressures on uh, uh, DGA, the government component of uh, the French government, mm -hmm. and DCNS directly, all pressures are being put on other OEMs which are located in uh, France and uh, Spain. So all, everybody is putting pressure on them to now uh, uh, give the balance items also. So that is where we are. Okay. And uh, the, the dates are there now with us, the revised timelines for the, this material which is yet to come. Okay. If they come even now what they have promised, uh, we feel that we will still be able to meet the timeline that okay. we have. Headlines today wrote to DCNS seeking a response to what the shipyard had said. But a bland promise of a detailed response was all we got despite repeated follow-ups. When headlines today sought answers from the defence minister, he refused to make any comment. However, top sources in the defence ministry have said that there is a real possibility of the submarine project taking a further hit, indicating the possibility of a fourth extension to the project the first boat under which was to arrive by December 2012. Expert opinion firmly fixes the responsibility on the MOD, which has allowed the indecision and delay to become the norm. This is a tragic uh, course of events because the MDL is learning to build submarines all over again. Uh, it had earlier already learned to build the HTW submarines and for some reason, well not for some reason, but because the Deutsche Mark became uh, very expensive compared to the rupee, we stopped building the German submarines. Now even if we could not afford to buy any more uh, submarines from Germany, we should have kept the production line alive by building at least one submarine at a time. Notwithstanding the hurdles mentioned, the first boat is nearing completion or so the Navy wants us all to believe. 
However, even as that happens, critical questions pertaining to arming these boats with torpedoes and newer technologies like the AIP systems remain unanswered even as on date. Despite it being the first project to be conceived and executed in over 15 years, this level of poor planning has impacted the Navy in more ways than one and is unacceptable to say the least. With camera person Suman Kansra in New Delhi, Jugal Purohit reporting for Headlines Today. And after Headlines Today report of the alarming state of affairs as far as Indian submarines are concerned, uh, the Navy now has reacted. Uh, Jugal Purohit has the details. Over to you, Jugal. Thank you, Rishika. The Navy has told us that, uh, you know, despite all the hurdles that we've put out uh, for our viewers, the Navy is confident, it's hopeful, in fact, that it will meet the deadline of September 2016 and that everything in its way has been resolved. However, as we've just seen, uh, the, the maker of this very boat out, uh, out there on the ground is telling us that the boats are ready, but what has to be put inside is still not there. And uh, for some reason, the French aren't responding. We've been trying for almost a week now and there's been only promise about a detailed explanation which hasn't yet come we are we're also aware that the indian uh, defense ministry the indian navy they're all trying to put pressure on the french uh, uh, you know on the french entity dcns which is a part of the government but still there's been no response and uh, uh, this isn't uh, essentially the only problem that the submarine faces of course it's the most important uh, the, the the one about its very existence but also uh, one has to understand uh, that if even if the submarine does come through uh, the planning has been so bad that the submarine still doesn't have a, a you know a torpedo on board it still doesn't have a contract signed by which torpedoes will come on board remember it's uh, the basic weapon that the submarine must have it also uh, hasn't been decided whether or not they will be equipped with the next generation technologies so all in all an extremely ill-planned project uh, the blame obviously lying uh, initially at the level of the shipyard but now at the level of the defense ministry and the French from DCNS which is uh, supposed to supply uh, all in all uh, the loser in this case will be the Indian Navy and the Indian nation especially at a time when we're seeing cross-border belligerents on the west and in the east the Chinese are rapidly expanding their presence in the Indian Ocean uh, several of their submarines are known to have conducted patrols right. in the Indian Ocean region Jugal Purohit, many thanks for joining us and getting us all those details.